one minute let me open this in incognito mode okay so in this lab we need to do the movie recommendation in bigquery ml so in last lab we will see, we have see like uh, what is bigquery ml and uh, how to um, like create a model how to evaluate the model how to predict the model so last time we we used the uh, linear regression i think so this time we will do the movie recommendation one minute let me open it here so this is basically overview what is the big query with big query you can query terabytes and terabytes of data so what is big query ml you can create a model you can predict it you can machine early model with minimum coding just just using the sql queries so here we are using the movie recommendation so in the movie recommendation we are using the collaborative filtering technique so what is basically the collaborative filtering uh, let's google it so let's go to the images okay so in collaborative filtering like basically uh, uh, we have the list of the users uh, we have the list of the movies in the movie recommendation so it could be any product so and there is a one uh, form of the like a matrix table uh i have row as a rows and column and uh, it is mentioned that okay this user like like this movie and this user like this movie and this user like this movie and this user like this movie this user like this movie or it could be the rating like this user give this rating uh, uh, as a 5 to the harry potter and four rating as to the shrek and the dark knight rises at uh, some three so this kind of table we have actually and uh, we need to find out whether this user uh, uh, how what is the probability like this user like like this movie or or this movie or this movie because uh, as of now he only rated for these two movie let's suppose and might be he did not rate he did not even see she did not even see these three movies so can we recommend uh, these three movies uh, to her or out of these three which movie we will recommend so all this we need to do to address some of the limitation of the one we have bit the similarity between the user and the item to provide recommendation so this is a collaborative filtering model can recommend an item to user a based on the interest of the similar user b okay let's close it so the starting point uh, with uh, uh, some columns a user id and item id and the rating so when we have the user id when we have the item id and we have the rating the user gave to the product and this table can be sparse so it could be like reason that uh, let's suppose we have the 1000 movie and uh, i am the user so uh maybe i watch only two movies so out of 1000 i gave rating for for the two movies so rest uh, 998 movies i did not rate because i did not watch so the matrix will be generated as sparse 
the user don't have to rate over products okay so what we will do in this so uh, we will create a big query data set uh, just to store the models we uh, which we will create we will explore the data set uh, this data set also provided to us uh, we will train the data set and then we will predict uh, we will predict on uh, one single user and also the batch user batch user means like uh, let's suppose we have given 100 users so or 1000 users uh, we need to recommend uh, uh, to all these 100 users uh, any recommendation movies or any product set up your environment open big query console so it's a very easy task we just need to open the big query console where it is just open it done get movie lens data set so earlier uh, what we did is in the previous uh, lab uh, uh, by using uh, the google cloud console right so we created the data set but in this lab what we will do is we will see the another method like how can we use the uh, cloud shell and how can issue the cloud uh, term uh, the commands on the terminal to create the data set all right so we have activated the shell so we will issue the bq command bq is the big query command so bq is the command mk is uh, to make the data set and we give the data set name the movies and we give the location that is the eu and just give enter authorize it so we will see the data set will be created the movie data set run the following command separately so as of now this data set is empty so we don't have any data but uh, the data is available to us uh, uh, in some uh, storage bucket so we will load uh, the data from the cloud storage bucket into the big query so we will use the bq load command and we will mention the source format that csv and we will mention the location so let's run the command enter we just need to know like these basic commands like the bq is the command used for the big query and mk is the command to make the data set if we need to load uh, some data from some file so we will use the bq load command no need to remember all these thing as a beginner how much time it will take okay done enter okay it's completed uh, how we can do the refresh open so we loaded the two data set uh, one is the movies rating and one is the movies r uh, lens movies row so let's preview it so th this is just a 2d matrix one has the user id one is the movie id so this user 
uh, give the rating of 2 to this movie id but what is 442 so we can see this movie id has the, this title and all uh, and all the other things has been given let's cross this so again we will explore the data set we are just counting like uh, how many distant user id movies id So see we have this number of distinct users, this num these are the number of movies and, and these are much ratings. We are just uh, seeing uh, very few records uh, based on the movie ID, just 5 movies IDs. So we could see the genre are in the form of some like there are multiple genre like uh, this toy story it the adventure movie animation children comedy fantasy it's uh, separated by some pipe symbols so you can see that the genre column is formatted string like so we need to parse the uh, genre into an array so basically basically that particular column is an array so rewrite the result into a table in the movie lens movie so let's rewrite the result so we need to store the result in some correct format because this is not the some correct format we need to store in some array format so we will like create or uh, create a new table in the same data set that under the movies data set but with the name movie lens underscore movies and uh, as and uh, give just the query and we are just using the split command and uh, uh, splitting by using the as a pipe symbol okay so mm, movie lens movies let's preview it is it movie lens movies yes movie lens movies so if we see the schema yeah the genre is repeated mode string repeated but earlier now it's repeated earlier it is a uh, not repeated mode okay and let's cancel this hmm. okay exp now evaluate a trained model so now you will see uh, ideally first we need to create a model right create and uh, train a model so uh, here we will use the matrix factorization model but here it is written that if we like uh, create a model it will like uh, take uh, 40 minutes uh, probably and uh, all the resources will be get used uh, which is available into this lab so around 46 minutes left if we create a model uh, like it will consume everything every all the remaining minutes so it has been mentioned like uh, don't need to create a model i uh, do not execute this command so that just we need to know like what is the command like create or replace a model uh, under the movies data set the movies recommender model uh, model so the option is like the uh, instead of the linear regression we are using the matrix factorization model so uh, these are the some hyper parameterization like uh, other things and uh, here uh, we will like uh, give all the like uh, data now we will directly ex like uh, uh, execute uh, evaluate the model using the ml dot evaluate so basically it is uh, provided uh, the model is in in some uh, public uh, data set i think so it automatically pick from here so we will see it's the mean absolute error is this everything is uh, like uh, mentioned here we evaluated it now uh, it's a time to do the some recommendation so we will do the recommendation on once uh, on a single user and then on a some uh, a bunch of users 
so as of now we are doing the ml dot predict uh, that is predicting so on a user only 903 user whose user id is 903 so let's see uh, what movie recommendation came so for the 903 user the top 5 movies is like this so he can watch the neighbors he can watch this movie he can watch the trojan war movie let we order we ordered by the rating and we limit to 5 only now we can so the, but this result uh, it could be that uh, uh, this 903 user might probably has already seen this this movies neighbor uh, maybe all these five movies he already see, uh, seen in the past so what's new for him this is not the recommendation right so we need to recommend those movie which he did not see in past so so basically uh, we are doing again the ml dot predict but uh, this time like uh, a query is a little bit different like uh, where movies are not in the uh, in the scene movies so okay this movie uh, he can see applying customer targeting in this task you will look uh, how to identify the top rated movie for a specific user okay sometimes you have to you have a product and have to find the customer who are likely to appreciate it you wish to get more views which is to 400 users it's not for the 100 users but uh, on the basis of the movie id only we are basically checking okay if we have the movie id so this movie id uh, to what all user we will like uh, recommend earlier we will see okay we have the user id but all movies we will recommend to that particular user but in this case we are checking if we have the movie id to all to whom we will recommend this particular movie so select the, this is the movie id so we are basically like fetching the 100 users only perform batch prediction so earlier uh, we like uh, uh, predict only for the 100 user now we will do the predict prediction for the uh, so many user okay uh, we recommend ml dot recommend uh, is another method here we can see the query time okay so this is the user id so he can uh, watch uh, the movies without the limit command the result would be too large so that's why we give the limit here so again like uh, they have mentioned like uh, uh, we normally run a very simple uh, uh, like recommendation so it could be the probability that uh, like uh, this user are already watch uh, like uh, these movies so we can filter out so as seen in the section above it is possible to filter out movies the user has already seen and rated in the past because there is no uh, use to recommend those movies to those user again and again which they have are already seen in the past so 
yeah that's all so basically the intention of this lab is uh, uh, to like uh, uh, go through again uh, like what is bigquery ml like uh, how we can like uh, open the bigquery console right how we can explore the data set and uh, uh, and this time like how can we can create the um, data set using the command line how we can load the data set from the some storage bucket to the bigquery table right and uh, how we can explore the data set and uh, again some uh, normal commands uh, like uh, the create table and uh, the like a uh, create model ml dot predict ml dot uh, and one more thing yeah so last time like uh, uh, we use the linear regression so uh, for the movie recommendation we we can use matrix factorization model so these are the basic thing which is like uh, necessary for this re uh, lab rest all things are like uh, like no need to like uh, uh, you can say cramp all these uh, uh, queries yeah done